a top NRCS official discusses water quality in the Mississippi River Basin during an Arkansas visit. Ann Mills, Deputy Undersecretary for Natural Resources and Environment at USDA, spent three days in Arkansas visiting local farms to see firsthand the steps farmers have taken to improve water quality in the Mississippi River Basin and prevent nutrients from contributing to a hypoxic or oxygen depleted zone in the Gulf of Mexico. Arkansas is setting the standard for the 13 states in the basin through the state's nine discovery farms, an edge of field water monitoring program that provides verifiable data on nutrient content leaving the farms. Prior to the tour, participants were briefed by state officials about the efforts farmers are making to implement nutrient reduction strategies. The head of the Arkansas Natural Resources Commission was pleased to have Mills see these efforts. In my view, there's no substitute for getting people in those kind of positions to get their feet on the ground in Arkansas and see the work that our farmers and ranchers are doing. I attended the first meeting of this task force in, in 1999. And uh, Arkansas is on the leading edge in terms of uh, implementing what we're now calling a state nutrient management reduction strategy, something we've been doing in Arkansas with all of our partners and farmers and ranchers really since about the middle 80s. But, so we're, we're making good progress. I think we're at the front in terms of the 13 states that are participating, primarily because the producers are so interested in doing their part uh, to maintain productivity, but also be the environmental stewards that they are. One of the stops on the tour was to Terry Dabbs' farm. Dabbs has participated in the Edge of Field Water Monitoring Program for the past three years. Through the use of a tailwater recovery system, he's able to retain nutrients for use on his rice and soybean fields. Mills is aware of the state's strong conservation programs and says Arkansas's contributions to protecting the watershed and addressing the hypoxia issue are notable. Well, Arkansas farmers have been just tremendous leaders among the 13 states uh, in engaging in conservation practices, investing in conservation practices that are having uh, a measurable impact on improving water quality, not just here in the state, but in the Gulf of Mexico. Through the Mississippi River Basin Initiative, or MRBI, $380 million has been invested by USDA to support conservation projects in the 13 states. Mills says Arkansas has led the way in taking advantage of this program. These dollars are competitive dollars, and so thanks to the strong partners here in the state, uh, the, uh, Arkansas has been able to uh, promote um, very compelling projects uh, and have proven that uh, they are ahead of the pack in terms of putting great conservation on the ground. Mills also used her visit to announce that USDA is investing $33 million during fiscal year 2014 to fund 174 projects across the country as part of the National Water Quality Initiative. Bayou Bartholomew, the world's longest bayou at 359 miles, with headwaters near Pine Bluff, will be the primary watershed to benefit in Arkansas. 